Hey YouTube, Trey here from Topic Tech, and we're going to be talking about the Google Maps app. This app was released yesterday, December 13, 2012, and it's already hit the top downloaded free apps in the App Store, which is pretty amazing. I know there's a lot of people that were griping about the built-in Maps app by Apple, ah, but it wasn't too bad. I seem to use it just fine without getting lost, but of course I don't live in a, in a huge city. But So right off the bat, it'll have you log into your Google account, which is pretty cool because it also shows you recent locations that you looked up before. I mean, you just tap them and you can add them as a favorite, so that way it shows up on your phone immediately. But anytime you look up directions on your computer, it automatically syncs it with your phone. So here I'm looking up just any close by Apple stores. And you swipe to the side just to look at different locations. Simply tap the car on the right and it shows you the different routes that you can take. It also shows you the different traffic that's available in that particular route as well as how many miles it is different from the other routes. After you've chosen the route that you want to take, it shows you in a graph to see if it makes sense to you still, if you want to take that way. And then once you hit the navigation, it tells you that it's still in beta, which to use caution, it's not going to be perfect every single time. Um, just hit accept as always, and then it starts you on your way. Gives you voice guidance turn by turn, and I'll give you a better description of this as I do a head to head comparison between the maps and the Google Maps. But yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. If you ever used the GPS before, this is going to be simple for you. I would honestly say this is going to be a good improvement from the maps application. There's a lot more features and a lot more data, it seems like, that's built into it. Um, one example I didn't get to show you is the different reviews at different locations. So if you go to a restaurant and you want to see the review, it'll pull it up just like it would on, on a Google browser um, itself. But yeah, that's it guys. Of course, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below. If you found any glitches or anything that I missed, also leave them in the comment box down there. But as always, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and I will see you next time.